Naba, your host. Well, October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As we sort of uh, shift to focus from local government elections, let's take a look at this. And we're raising awareness about the impact of uh, breast cancer. The designation of October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in South Africa reflects a nationwide drive by public and private healthcare structures uh, to raise awareness of this debilitating disease across all races and class structures. The incidence of breast cancer among South African women is increasing and it is one of the most common cancers among women in South Africa. It is the most prevalent cancer amongst white and Asian women and the second most uh, common cancer among black and colored women. Free World Initiative acknowledges that it is through the collective power and positive change uh, can be achieved uh, and calls on women to unite around the importance of uh, cancer screening to help prevent unnecessary loss of life. Well, the Free World Initiative will host a breast cancer awareness high tea on the 30th of October 2021 in Pretoria. For more on this, when I joined via Zoom by Lebohang Mudao, who is the founder and CEO of a Free World Initiative, NPO, working together with communities to raise responsible men in hopes of eradicating GBV. A very good afternoon to you, Lebohang. Thank you so very much uh, for joining us here on SABC News this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so delighted for once. It's not about murder or yeah. uh, beating of women. This time it's something positive that we're trying to do in terms of changing uh, the mindset of people, getting earlier detection so that we can actually save lives. So thank you for having us. Well, I mean, maybe that's an interesting point to start off then, Lebo Khang. I mean, you're generally talking about issues related to uh, GBV. You're generally looking at murder stats. Either way, we're looking at what ultimately is is, you know, the, the demise, the death of, of yes. women. Let's talk about, you know, w what is the link? I mean, wh why have you now taken on this particular initiative, which is talking to uh, breast cancer in, in particular, when you're really an organization that concerns itself mostly with issues relating to, to GBV? Okay. So one of the risk factors that uh, leads to breast cancer is stress and anxiety, which we know that gender-based violence is increasing that. Because of the lockdown, people have been stuck at home, have been stuck with their abusers, which is leading their stress levels, which could cause, as I said, a risk factor towards getting um, breast cancer. Breast cancer has a few risk factors, one of them being age, obesity, uh, and other factors. So we were tackling it from the aspect of, if we are in the homes with our abusers that is increasing our risk of uh, of being stressed and increasing the risk of uh, being detected with uh, cancer or leading towards um, getting cancer. Yeah. I mean, let's let's talk about uh, those uh, stress factors. And, and, and I mean, you know, one can't really rid oneself of natural stresses that sort of uh, sure. come with life. But certainly when it starts to impact the health and, you know, you, one can develop something as serious as, as cancer, it becomes a little bit more serious. And I wonder, you know, maybe you can talk to us about what your initiative is then doing in seeking to uh, prevent uh, these these situations. Lebohang, did you hear me there? I'm sorry, I missed you. You were saying when it starts to impact? Yes, so so what I was saying is, you know, when it comes to issues of, of stress and life stresses, uh, there's, yes, not, yes. there's not much that one can do. So life comes with uh, a lot of stress. I'd like to know how this initiative hopes to achieve, you know, an, a, a, a society or, 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 or sort of... Um, a, a place where women are uh, comfortable and not having to deal with stresses that ultimately lead yes. uh, to things uh, like cancer. Maybe just in, ter in terms of talking to us about how this initiative will, will implement that. We were fortunate enough to have Momentum assist us in partnering up with uh, Dr. Shabalala, who will be discussing on the day how mental health and man mental health issues actually affects our recovery in terms of if you are affected with cancer uh, and not only just in terms of prevention so we are very big on mental health awareness issues as fwi which is something we will be pushing on the day we are also trying to reduce the use of tobacco and alcohol which also increases your risk factor of getting um breast cancer so in this 
initiative, we are trying to do a holistic way of looking at how to prevent yourself from getting breast cancer, but also how to be a healthy, if you do get breast cancer, how to live healthily. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, pushing the earlier detection. It takes about uh, 212 days for your tumor to double in size. Yeah. So waiting for your mammogram is too long because often we advise women that after the age of 40 to go for a mammogram once a year, that is already too late. Your, your tumor has already doubled in size. So we're trying to push the fact that uh, early detection, self-testing, uh, self-examination in the home, these are the type of things that we are trying to make awareness of during this T, but not only as we build up towards it, just to get women and men, we're not forgetting that men also contract, um, can get um, cancer, yeah. so breast cancer. So we just want to highlight the fact that early detection is the best policy. Reduction of um, stress in terms of uh, physical activity, also changing your lifestyle. All of these factors will uh, reduce your risk from getting cancer. So all of this is factoring in, not only on the day, but before as we are leading up to it. And we just want to build up awareness to South Africans yeah. just to say that change your lifestyle, uh, reduce your stress, uh, reduce your intake of alcohol, and all of this will lead towards a better and healthier lifestyle. I mean, when you're talking about the issue of early detection, I mean, most of the time that uh, burden is placed on, on women themselves. And I wonder if we can't yes. get uh, buy-in from the medical fraternity. If you're thinking just on the top of my head, um, I mean, you know, many of us see our GPs at least a couple of times in, in a year. And I wonder why we can't be talking to, example, GPs to encourage uh, women who come to consult with them to, to also at the same time, even if cancer is not a scare necessarily uh, if to them or their, their families, to make sure that this is something that, that yes. they do uh, indeed check. Because it's not something, I mean, I don't remember it if I go to see my GP for a mild flu or something. You know, it's, 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 it's not something that's top of the mind. And I wonder how we can possibly make it something that's, that's top of the mind. I think that is where organizations like mine fit in, that we cannot just think about one thing and one factor that is, is impacting women, but we do need to see the different factors that are impacting women, yeah. one of them being a breast cancer. So through the, the campaign that we have been doing throughout the month, we have been pushing lots of self-examination, but also, like I said, we were fortunate enough to have the contacts with Momentum that has launched a bot as well that is uh, encouraging self-examination. Uh, the doctor that we will be working with is encouraging self-examination. And through all our platforms, we've also been encouraging self-examination. So I feel that doctors have been inundated, especially in the past year and a half, for the past two years with COVID and all the focus has gone to, foc uh, to COVID. So it takes organizations like ours, FWI, and and the person on the street to just spread the word that the only way that we can fight cancers is through early detection and there is something as simple it takes five minutes to do your is self-examination within the shower and it, it's something that is easy to do it's something that should be done on a monthly basis and it should be we should be talking more about it I, I totally agree with you our GPs should be encouraging us to do it more often yeah and um, just in closing as we wrap up our conversation you spoke about uh, momentum helping and partnering let's talk about uh, some of the other partners that you have working with you on this initiative and I wonder if you're getting you know assistance from government and if you are indeed asking uh, for, for assistance and what kind of assistance you would need uh, to continue then with, with the kind of work that, that, that you are doing? You know, I think the sad reality for most of the NPOs out there, they are not getting enough assistance from government. We were fortunate enough to knock on the door of Batabile, who is the former minister in women and who is the, the president of the Women's League, who has agreed to be a speaker. And that does go some way in showing that government uh, is should get more involved. Unfortunately, they're not as involved as they should be. Funds are a huge factor when we are trying to get out into communities, which would be a huge milestone if government would be more involved in terms of funding as the NPOs that are out there on the yeah. ground doing some work. We do have an amazing partnership with hashtag My Pele Magazine, which is giving back to the community of Artridge Bill that is always involved in terms of um, the activations and what we get in, uh, what we do as FW 
WI, we have decided to partner up with a local organ um, catering, which is Grab and Go. We have Teresa that has come on board the, the drinks, and they are going to be helping us out with uh, drinks on the day and beverages. Uh, Dulisa Events has also supported us in terms of uh, giving us a venue. And we've got amazing speakers who each are coming with uh, a stronghold on what they believe. We have Itusu, who is from... Um, my sister's keeper, I'm sorry about that. And she's yeah. big on women empowerment. So she's giving up her time to help us empower the women of the community. We have Lady Danger, who is huge on human rights, as well as LGBTI, who's coming on board. As I have mentioned, Dr. Chabalala, who is an oncologist, yeah. who's going to be helping us in terms of early detection. And we've got an amazing range of artists who have also volunteered their time, which is Tiago Dumi B, as well as the, po uh, the poetician. I'm so excited excited to have all of them because yeah. they all have got such strongholds in their communities but are also so uh, passionate about getting the word out there in terms of gender-based violence which was our, our our primary goal in getting people on board people who are after um eliminating gender-based violence but people who are also very health conscious and who want to put the word out there about healthy living and early detection all right and just as we wrap up then what is uh let's talk about uh, the event itself the initiatives uh event uh, what the time the date who's invited i mean just uh as we uh, wrap up maybe you can just uh, give us all that information so as I said, I'm so excited. This is going to be an amazing day. It's on the 30th of um, October. Mm -hmm. We're ending off the month with a bang. We have asked everyone who is invited just to come with glam, with a touch of pink, just to be aware of breast cancer. Yeah. It's starting at 2 till 6 o'clock. It is a high tea. Uh, we, are, we have spread the invite out to anyone who is able to come on the day. And we have also asked that people bring with them non-perishable goods that we are donating to the home that we have adopted in Pele, mm. so that uh, all the uh, proceeds as well are going to this home that is housing 50 children from homes that were abused in the past, as well as women who have been able to exit from abusive relationships. So we are very excited. It is a cause that is so close to our hearts, not just in terms of the breast cancer, but the fact that we will be helping the home that has this uh, housing, the 50 kids, and they're also needing some support in terms of financial assistance, and that's why we do these events so we can highlight that there are homes that are trying to do good in the communities but they do need some financial assistance Lebukhang, a pleasure speaking to you thank you very much for giving us your time here thank you so on much SABC for having News. us you're most welcome all the best uh, for that uh, event that's Lebukhang Mutao, who is the founder and ceo of free world initiative the npr working together with uh, communities to raise uh, responsible men in hopes of eradicating gbv they will actually be hosting a breast cancer awareness high tea on the 30th of of October 2021 right here uh, in uh, Pretoria. I'll be back with you at uh, the top of the hour. Do stay with us here on SABC News.